I am Tina from Makeup Wearables, and today I'm going to show you an easy hair cutting hack method that totally works in creating soft long layers on your own hair. So to start, here's what my hair looks like right now and what the haircut is going to grow into for you in about three to four months. The back is in a soft V shape and you have a few face framing pieces in the front. But what I like most about this hairstyle is that it's easy to wear because it looks great with straight or curly hair. Some layer hairstyles can look pretty awful on straight hair because it just looks so choppy and messy but as you can see with this haircut the layers are pretty subtle so it looks clean no matter what hairstyle you do with this haircut all right so let's get started first we're going to clip out or tie the side sections like this to get it completely out of the way Next, if you want bangs, and this is completely optional, you have to cut it now. However, I already showed you guys how to do this two weeks ago in another hack tutorial, and I can't cut it again, so click here if you missed it and want to learn how I cut my own bangs. And for you guys on mobile watching this, I'll put the link to that video in the down bar. Step three, gather all the hair on your crown down to the top of your ear, and we're gonna brush it straight towards the face and make a ponytail on the forehead. But the most important thing here is to brush it out completely, making sure there are no knots or tangles inside the hair. And depending on how much layers you have already, we're going to make a few more ponytails on this section to keep them in place. But again, make sure your hair is perfectly combed out and that you're not twisting the hair as you're tying it in place. Okay, so now we can start cutting. Put the hair straight down to see how much hair we need to cut. And then, remember this spot as it will be a guide for you in the future. As a matter of fact, I should have thought of this while filming, but I want you guys to use an eyeliner and draw the spot on your chest so you can remember it. And this mark is going to be called your guideline, okay? For me, I'm going to cut my hair a few inches below my collarbone, and I should have marked this spot so you guys could see it clearly. But I want you guys to mark it on your chest to see exactly how short you're cutting it. And then we're going to spread out the ends and then point cut across. You don't have to cut a lot from the beginning. Just cut a little bit at a time because you can always go back and cut more. But if you cut too much, then it's going to be a problem, right? And then we're going to spread out the ends and point cut into the hair to thin it out. We are now trying to remove bulk so your layers will fall more softly and not into a choppy mess. You guys could also use a thinning shears for this, but this method works just as well so you don't have to go out and buy one just to do it. Okay, so now that we did the top layering, we're going to take care of the side layers. So first thing, you're going to divide your hair in half. And then start cutting one or two inches below your guideline. Remember that guideline I was telling you about the eyeliner and stuff? Yeah, that guideline. We're going to pull the hair straight out. Find your guideline. Then go one or two inches below it and start point cutting it towards the bottom. Okay? So pull the hair straight out. You're going to find your guideline and cut, uh, cut one or two inches below that guideline.
and then do the same on the other side. And next step, we're going to undo the top, then divide the hair into two equal sections to make pigtail. And then, same as before, we're going to make more ponytails to hold the layers in place. Now, if you guys shake or lift the bottom up slightly, you can see the shorter hair underneath it, right? What we're going to do next is cut the bottom so the ends are the same length as these. And just so no one's confused, cut it straight across so it blends with the longest length of the shorter layers that you see in here. Because the really short pieces that you see are your face framing pieces. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And after checking to make sure the haircut is even, undo everything and check to make sure your layers are even too. And to do that, you grab a piece from the same spot on each side of your head and bring it towards the middle to check the length. And you do this over and over and over and over to make sure it's all even. Also, make sure your hair is looking soft and not choppy. As you can see here, the layers work perfectly and it doesn't look like a mess. I didn't flat iron or do anything else here to make my cut look better. I just wanted you guys to see the raw haircut. Now you guys can just always wear it like this. You don't have to do anything else afterwards. But this next step is for people who's already cutting their own hair at home and they're already kind of advanced. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it even better. We're going to divide our hair in half now and put the back hair towards the front and cut any hair that's going past our face framing pieces. Remember that size section I made you guys do in step two, we're going to make sure the back sections do not go past this, uh, this face framing pieces. But guess what? My camera shut down. So I'm just going to pretend cutting it here again for you guys. So what I'm doing here is combing the back hair towards the face, making sure no weird pieces are sticking out of the face framing pieces. So here's an example I made for you guys. If you see a long strand of hair sticking out, then you cut that one long strand so it evens out. But if you see this zigzag look, you don't cut that because that is what's making your hair look softer. Alright, so here's my DIY haircut after it's been just cut without any styling. And here's what the haircut is going to look like in a ponytail for you. Now let's compare before and after. And lastly, here's what the haircut looks like once it's been styled. And I did the long version of the popular lob hairstyle. And we're done. But before I let you guys go, I am moving next week, so my upload might be a little bit spark. So my upload might be a little off for a couple of weeks. But if you guys want to see my new apartment, leave me a comment below so I can film that for you guys as well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more hair videos. I love you guys. Have a beautiful hair day, everyone. Bye.